Positions for the boom hoist lever are center, which is always neutral, forward, and back. When in neutral, the automatic brake system on the winch is set. If you pull back on the lever, it raises the boom. If you push forward on the lever, it lowers the boom. The main hoist lever controls the raising and lowering of the main hoist line. The main hoist line winch is mounted on the lower boom section of the crane. The three lever positions here are center, forward, and back. Again, when in neutral, the automatic brake system on the winch is set. If you pull back on the main hoist lever, you'll raise the load, push forward, and you lower the load. This lever is spring-centered and will return to neutral when you let go of the handle. The automatic brake system on the winch is hydraulically released when you move the lever from center. The auxiliary hoist lever controls the raising and lowering of the auxiliary hoist line, which is attached to the front winch on the lower boom section. Once again, the three lever positions are center, forward, and back. When in neutral, the automatic brake system on the winch is set. As with the main hoist lever, if you pull back on the auxiliary hoist lever, the load will raise, push forward on it, and the load will lower. This lever is also spring-centered and will return to neutral when the handle is released. The automatic brake system on the winch is also hydraulically released when the lever is moved from center, just as it is with the main hoist lever. You are responsible for knowing the weight of the load. Weight indicators, or scales, are used to determine weights of unknown loads. Even when the weight is marked, use your good judgment and do not lift the load if you're in doubt. Overloading can result in damage to the load itself, surrounding equipment, or the crane. Even worse, you could injure or kill a fellow worker, or yourself. You should know what load chart to use and how to read it. The chart must be visible to you, and you need to know that the load is within the right static or dynamic capacity for the radius at which the load is to be lifted. The weight of the hook, hook blocks, slings, and so on are considered part of the load. Using the load chart, you can calculate how much weight can be lifted at a specific boom angle and load radius. Load radius, by the way, is defined as the distance from the center of the load to the center line of rotation of the crane. Raise the hoist. With the forearm vertical and the forefinger pointing up, the hand is moved in a small horizontal circle. Lower the hoist. With the arm extended downward and the forefinger pointing down, the hand is moved in small horizontal circles. Use the main hoist. The fist is tapped on the head and then followed by a motion signal.